Welcome back to another video. I know it's been quite some time since I uploaded the video and I'm sorry about that but things hasn't been standing still. So today we're actually jumping back into the golf again. So I've been working on the golf for about the last week or two and as I'm not any manufacturing type of person I actually did all this by myself. So start out doing this I actually welded in all the support beams here. So please don't judge my welding as I'm not a welder or a manufacturing type of a fabricator or anything. But I welded in all this support you see here. All the support you see here. Then we slide it the motor in, get it center and level. So it's basically close to sitting level. Then what we did, what I did is I built motor mounts, like you can see, more of my bad welding. Another mount there, so the motor is actually tight where it's currently sitting. And then today we're gonna be doing the tunnel. Let me just show you a tunnel that came from the Volvo. I bought it with. So we're actually gonna see if we can make this work in a way with the Golf. So we can get the tunnel working with the Golf. So hopefully that can work. And if it does do work, we're gonna be installing that tunnel today. Um, if you guys have any pointers for me with this build that we're busy doing, here, please feel free to give me a, a comment down below. Any help basically works for me now. So yeah, enough talk. Let's jump into the building. So after inspecting the tunnel, I've got a bit of change in plans. So basically what the plan is, I'm going to cut all this excess body off. All this body I'm going to cut off so I only have the support frame and the physical tunnel. So that will make it a bit smaller and easier to work with and probably make it easier to fit. So I actually cut the tunnel so it fits more or less where it's supposed to fit. Now what I'm doing is I'm busy. As you can see I drilled out all this factory welding welds. And now I'm just hammering it a bit loose so I can lift it up like I did on that side. So we can slide this thing more or less into place where it's supposed to be or closer to place. To see if I, well probably I'm going to have to get some stuff made up here and get some sheet metal and weld it in. But this is just the basic mock-up of where everything's supposed to sit. I think the angle where it sits here is actually fine because the gate lever oh, sits over the gate lever there. So this is more or less the location it will be sitting in. Just the height may differ depending on where the support is going to be ending up and all that stuff. So. 
We are making progress slowly but surely. But for a guy working on his own, it's quite difficult to do this. So just bear with me. We are making progress. Let's get back to work. Just want to show you. So that's basically where the footman sits now. Of the tunnel. So there's still a few things we're gonna have to lift it up because it's actually pressing on the gear box here. And we're gonna have to cut out some more of the floor so we can actually get this mounted all around it in. Just lower it down. We're gonna cut it off here. So we only use this front section where the gearbox sits. And then at the back we'll just open up the tunnel so we can lift it up a bit so we can fit the props off in there. I don't really wanna get rid of the stock seat mounts. That's why I kept this and I didn't cut it out. So I wanna keep the stock seat mounts on it so it's not difficult and I can use more OEM type of the interior in it. So that's the plan. Finish tagging in this part of the tunnel. As you can see there, so I just tag, tag, tag everywhere. Um, next, I did actually get all the metal for the tunnel part there. I'll just show you. For this tunnel part, I got all the metal. Just made it a mess. I did get all the metal, so I'll be cutting the part for the tunnel just now. And I'm going to start with the main section that goes over the tunnel section. There, it sits over there, going up to here. So I'll be cutting that section next, and then from there, work until we get to the final product. Um, I know there's probably much easier ways to build tunnels, but because it's my first time doing it, I probably took the hard way around it. Um, but like I said, if you guys have any pointers for me, just drop it down in the comments below. This video is taking probably about a week to get done. Um, as I still have to figure out how to do it and measure and all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, let's get back to it. but the welder I've got is a cheap cheap welder so um, it, uh, you can't really adjust it so if I keep the welding rod wire I'm sure what you call it if I keep it there for too long it burns a hole actually into the chassis so I have to tag it tag it tag it tag it so that's what it looks like at the end Now what I have to do is I have to cut loose this one again, move it to the back where it was supposed to sit when I measured it up, when I measured everything up, and then tag it from there. So 
Yeah, we're getting there, boys. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. Let's continue. Just a little update from where we at now. So I finished. You only saw I welded in one piece, but I actually managed to do more or less the whole complete box setup. As you can see there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this off pieces off in stripes here, bend them upwards, and then I'll weld it close there. So like I said, I'll, I'll weld it in here then. I'll bend it up and I'll I'll cut a little bit of and then what do you call it cut it with a grinder in here i'll heat it up so it presses against this piece of plate here and then i'll weld it in from the other side i just have to take out the engine and now i have to cut small pieces so we can make it nice here close everything up here then i need there's a guy that i normally do my sheet metal cut work with to cut pieces here so if this is cut, I can actually tag weld it in and then I can weld the support frame. So as you can see, at least it presses on the chassis where it's supposed to be. Excuse me, oh, it's dirty. It's been standing for like a week that I didn't work on it and I've got no windows in here. So it's dusty and I stored a lot of parts in here. But nevertheless, like I said, so then I will weld this, I weld this against the chassis leg or the, the, the chassis support I'll weld it onto the floor again and then the guy that does my sheet metal said he can build me a tunnel from here so what I need to do is I'll measure it from about here and then close the, close up the tunnel I do want to keep the stock rails so I don't struggle with, with my seats and then everything should be back in as it's supposed to be like I said, I just need to close up that small hole there. Just want to show you what it looks like from the inside. So, I'm not sure if you can actually see. But more or less that's what it looks like. Well, you can't really see on it, but that's what it looks like. So, I'm getting, I actually have to redo my mounts the engine is sitting up too high so the bonnet press is here so I need to lower it about um, 5 to 10 more I need to lower the motor and then the nice part on the on this piece is there's bolt holes so I can actually just build a small subframe for the gearbox to rest on I said let's continue with it. filming the outro we as you see, saw in the videos we did finish tagging in everything it's not completed yet um, but we can we're gonna as soon as we get time again we're gonna uh, solidly weld in everything and then get some seam sealer and seal everything up like it's supposed to be um, there is still a few little piece of parts that I need to get as you can see here I need to get a piece cut out there and 
need to need to close up all these holes here and there on the bottom. And then if you look at the sections, you need to get this small pieces cut and well in there. there. And as you can see, it's not completely, but uh, completely close. So we still need to get all this welded up. Same with this sections here. Yeah, but this is the basic mock-up of the tunnel. Uh, guys, if any one of you got an M75 diff available for sale, uh, please drop me a comment down below as well. We urgently need one. This Volvo diff setup is not working like it's supposed to. As you can see, so without, without doing a lot of modification work, uh, this leaf spring sitting here is pushing up the diff too high. For it to go lower, the side shaft is going to eat the chassis beam and I don't really want to cut out any chassis legs. If I can prevent it, I will go as far as possible to do it. Then to get this setup mounted in here without using this massive frame and for it not to sit up high like here somewhere like I said the M75 this setup is going to work a lot better for this whole section yeah so if anyone has like I said if anyone if you have one please drop a comment down below let me know send me a message I'll put my, my Instagram stuff on in the section down below also so please just drop me a DM or send me a message so we can arrange a deal. If any one of you wants to buy that uh, setup that I got building there now, also drop a comment down below. I will let go of it ASAP to get money for the M75 setup. So that's it boys and then thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you.